Hello and welcome to all the UPSC aspirants in the Abhimanyu IS. My name is Pravesh Watts and the Faculty of Indian Polity, Governance and Security. Today we will talk about the issue analysis of the Act for Right to Person with Disability Act, its salient features, its shortcomings and the way forward. If you look at the means of the paper of the GS2, then time and again this topic has come in that exam in any form. Right to Person with Disability and अगर हम इसको कैटेगरी में डालना चाहें तो वनरेबल सेक्शन यानी सोशल जस्टिस उसका ये पार्ट है तो लेट्स सी क्या क्या इसके प्रोविजन हैं सो राइट टू पर्सन विद डिसेबिलिटी एक्ट 2016 व्हाट आर द सेलेंट फीचर्स फर्स्ट इट एम्पावर्स पर्सन विद डिसेबिलिटी टू एंजॉय द राइट टू इक्वालिटी लाइफ डिग्निटी एंड फुल पार्टिसिपेशन एंड इंक्लूजन इन द सोसाइटी पूरा ही उनका इंक्लूजन होता है इंक्लूजन मीन्स वेन यू गिव अ स्पेस टू द मार्जिनलाइज सेक्शन इन टू द मेन स्ट्रीम सेक्शन ऑफ द सोसाइटी दैट सिंपली मीन्स दैट योर सोसाइटी इज इंक्लूसिव एंड इफेक्टिव पार्टिसिपेशन इन ईच एंड एवरी कॉर्नर ऑफ द सोसाइटी एंड इट्स फंक्शनिंग्स राइट टू लाइफ राइट टू इक्वालिटी उनको भी समान तरीके से जीने का अधिकार मिलता है बाय दिस राइट टू पर्सन विद डिसबिलिटी एक्ट सेकेंड It increases the quantum of reservation for people suffering with disabilities from three to four percent. So one percent increase in the government jobs. सरकारी नौकरियों में इनको one percent की increase इन एक percent की बढ़त से इनकी जो jobs हैं उनमें reservation को बढ़ाया गया है. And three to five percent यहाँ पर two percent की increase in the higher education institutions for the higher educational institutions across India, which simply means in the national as well as in the state educational institutions. इनकी रिजर्वेशन जो पहले तीन थी अब वो पांच परसेंट हो गई यानी दो परसेंट बढ़ गई है तो वन परसेंट इन द गवर्नमेंट जॉब्स एंड टू परसेंट इंक्रीज इन द गवर्नमेंट एजुकेशनल इंस्टीट्यूशन फॉर दी वनरेबल सेक्शन स्पेसिफिकली फॉर दोज हु आर डिसेबल्ड देन एवरी चाइल्ड विद बेंच मार्क डिसेबिलिटी बिकॉज वी आर हैविंग द बेंच मार्क्स की इस प्रो इतना अगर आपका शरीर खराब है तो आपको इतनी डिसेबिलिटी के फायदे मिलेंगे उससे ज्यादा है तो उससे ज्यादा उससे कम है तो वी हैव सम सॉर्ट ऑफ थ्रेश हमारे यहाँ लिमिटेशन सीमाएं बनी हुई है कि इतना अगर आपका कोई पार्ट डिसेबल है तो तब आपको हाफ डिसेबल माना जाएगा या फुल डिसेबल माना जाएगा इतना माना जाएगा तो डिसेबिलिटी को डिफाइन करने के लिए भी वी हैव बेंच मार्क्स इन इंडिया तो द चिल्ड एवरी चाइल्ड विद बेंच मार्क डिसेबिलिटी बिटवीन द एज ग्रुप ऑफ सिक्स टू एटीन ईयर्स छह से अठारह साल के बीच में अगर कोई बच्चे हैं then she, then they shall be having the right to free education unko free education they will get in the educational institutions and broadly it is speaking about the public educational institutions not private then government funded educational institutions as well as the government recognized institutions will provide inclusive education to them so again i'm saying there is no mention of the private education as such and the private educational institution as such it is only speaking about the government schools government educational institutions and those institutions who have you know who are taking the grants or who are taking any sort of recognition from the government so unhi schools unhi colleges unhi universities mein such kind of provision such kind of reservation will be given to the vulnerable section and specifically to the children then stress given to ensure accessibility in public buildings in a prescribed time frame along with accessible india campaign accessibility in the public building which simply means that everywhere the vulnerable section will be given an equal hand in using that particular public space for an example if there is a toilet in any public building so there will be a proper mechanism or there will be a proper hand holding approach for the for the vulnerables so that they can also use the same kind of toilet with a different techniques so isko bol rahe hain ki within time frame across the india you have to introduce such kind of mechanisms such kind of facilities to entertain the vulnerable sections and their specific demands and accessible india campaigns which simply means jo bhi hamari commuting services hain jaise ki hamari buses hain trains hain metros hain aur iske alawa hamari 
जितना भी पब्लिक स्पेस को यूज करने की जहां तक बात आती है तो वहां पर एक्सेसिबल इंडिया कैंपेन जो द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया हैज इंट्रोड्यूस्ड एंड स्पेसिफिकली द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ सोशल जस्टिस जो ये स्ट्रेस करती है कि जितने भी पब्लिक स्पेस हैं पब्लिक कॉम्यूटिंग सर्विसेज हैं वहां पर द वनरेबल सेक्शन गेट अ सुटेबल अपर हैंड एंड गेट अ सुटेबल फैसिलिटी सो दैट दे कैन यूज दैट पब्लिक स्पेस इन द फॉर्म ऑफ एस्केलेटर्स इन द फॉर्म ऑफ लिफ्ट इन द फॉर्म ऑफ व्हील चेयर्स इन द फॉर्म ऑफ different sort of toilets so these are all the components and the integral part of the accessible india campaign introduced and continued by the ministry of social justice the government of india the chief commissioner for person with disability and state commissioner will act as a regulatory body they will regulate and they will also entertain the grievances in the form of grievance redressal agencies because it is assumed that if the grievances are not administered then that particular institution is not fully accountable so these commissionerates at the national level as well as at the state level they will be having the regulate regulation power they will regulate the laws they will regulate the implementation of this act as well as they will entertain the grievances from the vulnerable section if their right is curtailed by any particular individual or an association so the grievance redressal mechanisms and agencies के रूप में द स्टेट एंड द नेशनल कमिश्नर इट्स विल वर्क एंड विल मॉनिटर द इम्प्लीमेंटेशन ऑफ द एक्ट व्हिच इज हाईली इंपॉर्टेंट द रीजन बीइंग इट इज वेरी इजी टू इंट्रोड्यूस अ स्कीम बट इट इज हाईली डिफिकल्ट टू कंटिन्यू द टू कंटिन्यू इट्स इम्प्लीमेंटेशन सो दीज कमिश्नर इट्स विल डू थ्री थिंग्स फर्स्ट इज द रेगुलेशन ऑफ द एक्ट सेकंड इज टू एंटरटेन द ग्रीवियंसेस एंड टाइमली डिलीवरी ऑफ द जस्टिस एंड थर्ड व्हिच इज मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट इज द full implementation with hurt of this act so that the vulnerable section gets their due rights their due justice on the moment then a separate national and state fund is also created to provide financial support to the persons with disabilities because all these works requires the financial robustness the financial strength so for that the fund is very much required and this act has introduced a fund in which the government ministry and the government organizations will be keeping the money the buffer money so as to continue its implementation and along with that the individuals or the ngos who will be associated with it they will be also contributing voluntarily into this fund so that the inclusiveness idea of the society by incorporating the vulnerables into the mainstream gets full continuation and full collaboration now what are the shortcomings of the act so number 1 it makes the clauses on non discrimination in employment mandatory only in the government establishments because there is no specific mention in the private establishments if we talk about the private offices if we talk about the private college university schools there is no as such mention in this act which is demanding from the private organizations from the private um, sector to introduce such kind of facilities for the vulnerables which is a shortcoming of this act because the vulnerable section nowadays works in the private sectors also and there is a huge demand that inclusivity not only comes in the government sector but as well as in the private sector then it continues with the 1995 act provision of having a chief commissioner and state commissioner but neither the commissioner nor any other member of their advisory committee are required to be person with disabilities so this is considered as the second shortcoming of this act where it is saying that in any commissionerate at the national level at the state level or at the advisory committee even a single individual is not mandatorily uh, been enshrined in the act ki wo person with disability hoga so how the vulnerable section or how the disabled section will trust them if their voices are not actually considered because it is assumed that sympathy and empathy sympathy is good but unless and until you do not have empathy such kind of vulnerable sections will not get their due justice because the pain which they suffer that pain can only be realized in its hurt by the person who belongs to the vulnerable class or who belongs to the disabled class so this is the demand of the vulnerable section that in any way in the advisory committees or in the national or the state commissionerates at least one single person or an individual should definitely belongs from the disabled section so that he can incorporate the same level of pain the same level of tragedy and the same level of trauma which the disabled suffers 
not specify the time frame for a certificate of disability to be issued there is no time frame and there is no perfect formal uh, there is no perfect way out in the public as to how the disabled certificates can be made and this is the problem of lack of communication and lack of information dissemination what actually happens that the government and the agencies makes the law but those laws remains on the paper the reason being the government do not emphasize and focus on information dissemination and for the government it is presumed that we have done our work but the half part of the work is not done which is the effective implementation because there is no information dissemination to the people who requ who really require the benefits of that law and the same thing lies in this that there is no time frame there is no proper mechanism is told to the people who belongs to the vulnerable class and number of and i would say the majority of the section even do not get the chance to have a disabled certificate gives pwd no way to address the trials and the, and the tribulations because if you are not having the disabled certificates no one will entertain your demands no one will entertain your grievances and you will be in a bad position you will not be able to get the justice from the trials and the tribulations so these were the shortcomings now what are the way forward so number one it is a right based legislation but the success depends on the proactive measures taken by respective state governments in the implementation because the national government or the central government has made the law but it is the responsibility of the state governments to actually implement it to actually effectivize it so that the ground level pe jo cheeze jo disabled rehte hain unko effective justice mil sake because the local level functionaries are in the hands of the state governments and state governments can easily administer this these kinds of things to provide justice to the vulnerables then till they are treated as second class citizen and not recognized as capable individuals india will continue to be unjust and inequitable society and this is the most important reality unless and until we do not have an empathy for the vulnerable sections we cannot assume that the india will become inclusive because it is very important to achieve growth but it is very important to not only achieve growth but also the human growth the growth of happiness the growth of love the growth of trust the growth of empathy and the growth of sympathy also so ye sari agar values hamare yahan nahi hai so we cannot expect that india will become an inclusive society because inclusive society is not a vague term it is a very comprehensive term which requires not only the physical aspects but also the ethical and the moral aspects which across country have to be builted by not only the government but by the ngos and other several organizations so this much is enough for the right to people with disability act because i believe that this much information is very much required for the mains exam because every time every year the question comes on the right to person with disability or the right to person with education because they are the part of social justice paper 2 of the mains exam so thank you so much for listening me and wish you all the best for your exam and those students who want to join the vimanuise for any program they may have a look on this chart thank you so much